So when we say we have similar triangles, it means that their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. So if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, angle A is congruent to angle D, angle B is congruent to angle E, angle C is congruent to angle F, and their sides are proportional. So A over D is equal to B over E is equal to C over S, F. So we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. If we know that side A equals 5, C equals 9, and F equals 18, we want to find out what side D equals. So since they're similar, that means that their sides are proportional. So A, which is right here, 5, over D, which is what we're trying to find out, is equal to C over F because they're similar in proportional triangles. So just like we would solve a normal proportion, we're going to cross multiply and we're going to get 9D is equal to 5 times 18. So 9D equals 90. Divide both sides by 9, you get D equals 10. So if E is equal to 24, find B. So E is equal to 24, and we want to find side B. So B over 24 is equal to, we're going to, set it equal to 9 over 18. So then we're going to cross multiply. We get 18b is equal to 9 times 24. 18b equals 216 divide both sides by 18 and we get B equals 12. Okay, so the thing to remember when we're setting up these proportions to find the lengths of these sides, we want to keep the proportions consistent. So in the first one, I started with 5, which is this side of this big triangle. So I'm going to put that over this side of the little triangle. And I'm going to go back to the big triangle and put this side over this side of the little triangle. Now we could do the opposite and have the little triangle over the big triangle it doesn't matter as long as we keep it consistent. So, we still have these two triangles, but now we know that the measure of angle A is 35. The measure of angle C is 65. And we have to find the measure of all the other angles. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the measure of angle B. And we can do that using our rules of the interior angles of triangles. So 35 plus 65 plus x is equal to 180, because all the angles in a triangle always add up to 180. So 35 plus 65 is equal to 100, plus x 
is equal to 180. So x is equal, if we subtract 100 over, x is equal to 80. So that means b is equal to 80. So now, in order to find out the angles of the little triangle, we need to remember what similar triangles have in common. Since we know that these two triangles are similar, that means that their corresponding angles are congruent. So the measure of angle D has to equal the measure of angle A. Since angle A is 35, measure of angle D is also 35. Same thing goes for the measure of angle F. This angle corresponds to angle C. So since angle C is 65 degrees, the measure of angle F is also 65 degrees. And last, the measure of angle E is congruent to the measure of angle B. Since we find found the measure of angle B to be 80 degrees, we know that the measure of angle E also has to be 80 degrees. So now that we know what similar triangles are, in our next lesson we're going to talk about how we can identify similar triangles. So make sure you come back and watch